Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and today I'm back on our Factor 2 where we are back in the IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship once again today at the Canadian Tire Motorsports Park for the Mobile One Sports Car Grand Prix. I've rounded up all the mods once again and got them working on this track. As per usual, I'm going to be in the Team Penske Acura car for what is somewhat of a sprint race actually in the IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship. Usually the races are like, you know, Sebring we last did was 12 hours and you got the Daytona 24 hour, whereas this is a two hour and 40 minute sprint race in real life. However, the race distance we're going to be doing today is 40 minutes so slightly shorter because I'm the only sort of driver here usually I have my sort of AI co-drivers take over from me uh, but in real life you would only have two drivers running this race anyway so I'm just gonna do it uh, standalone by myself yeah without any further ado I'm gonna go run a quick qualifying session and hopefully get this accurate as far up the grid as possible and then we'll get into the race alrighty so after qualifying managed to qualify third so inside of row number two the difficulty that I've set the AI at is 105% uh, 100% damage multiplier so maxed out uh, we've got to be careful not to hit anything because this is one busy track once we get racing I mean there's just so many high speed corners the tracks only like a minute long in these cars uh, yeah and so with such a big you know mid corner speed differential between the DPIs and the GTDs it just gets real messy um, so it's gonna be interesting to see how the AI deal with it here on R factor 2 all right well without any further ado we'll jump onto the grid uh, get off on this formation lap of course, it is a rolling start in the WeatherTech Sports Car Championship. Now, my pace today, I'm not going to lie, isn't too good in terms of race pace. We put a pretty stellar lap in qualifying together, which got us uh, just behind this front row here. But I'm a little bit worried about how our actual race, uh, race pace is going to be. However, I do seem to be better than the AI at getting through traffic, uh, as well as sort of making the fuel last longer. Um, so... I think we'll be able to extend those stints a little bit longer. We've got 32 cars on the grid, so all the DPI GTDs, the LMP2s don't compete at this race. Um, so it's just the DPIs in terms of prototypes. We've got eight DPIs, I think it's something like six, uh, six, five or six uh, GTLMs. I'm just about to say GTEs. Uh, same thing, but uh, yeah, the rest are just GTDs or GT3s as they're classified in Europe. But yeah, anyway, that is enough talk. Here we go on our Factor 2 back in the Acura DPI. It's the Mobile One Sports Car Grand Prix at Canadian Tire Motorsports Park, otherwise known as Mossport. 40 minute race on our Factor 2. Love me some R Factor 2. Hopefully, the AI are all cooperative today. And green flag is out. Decent jump. Let's charge down into. This quick right hander, which is turn one. Oh, cold tyres. Hold on to it. Oh, nasty bump. All right. Oh, these Michelins are not ready for this kind of heat. Oh, looks like the rest of the DPI packs fighting behind us. That's good. Right, this is where it gets a bit tricky to this real slow section. I'm trying to feel out the grip right now. It's hard because the entire track is so fast and then you have to really slow her up around there. You know, I've got the suspension set quite sort of hard so that it really grips through those fast corners. But it means when you get to that slow stuff, it doesn't want to comply. Mate in the Mazda had a little bit of a nibble. Wait, lap one is in the books. Survived. Got the good old banana boat in front of us. JDC Miller Motorsports, I think it is. Raced against that team in the Pro Mazda category in real life. Back when they were in well, sort of part of the road to Indy. I think they're just in the WeatherTech series now. Maybe the prototype challenge as well. We 
we've got the Mustang sampling number five car out front. He is yeeting off into the distance. We struggle through that last sector. Seems to be alright through sector two. But it's going to be interesting is to see how these Michelins deal with this sort of constant aggravation. You, know, you are really leaning on them for a long time. traffic to our advantage. Hopefully not hit anyone. Damn that master is quick through that final sector. see random shadows at any time they've got this sort of weird blimps that operate on <laughs> in the sky on this mod this mod's actually only just been released only just came out on the um, R Factor 2 workshop this past week at the time this video was recorded it's actually pretty decent I'm not gonna lie there's a little uh, well there's a small issue with the pits during practice and qualifying and whatnot I know a lot of the cars sort of running into themselves, but it is actually pretty fun. I mean, it's not the most realistic version of it, but it's pretty darn close. I haven't actually driven here in real life. Oh, Jesus, that's not gone well. Ah. No! Go away! Stupid masters! the outside don't mind that make up for that stupid mistake that last corner is really tricky all right uh, another stupid error making a lot of them recently I must admit We actually haven't even hit the GTD traffic as of yet. Oh, jeez, big wreck. Big wreck. Uh, everyone's dead. Right, well, a couple of the GTDs and DPIs were involved in that, but we've got a caution, so we'll pack up behind the safety car. Alrighty, here we are ready to go back to green flag racing. We are restarting behind a Mercedes in the GTD category, unfortunately. Uh, it's just the way it sort of all petered out. So we've got to try and get past him as quickly as possible because the leading DPI is only a couple feet ahead. Alright, here we go. Gotta be careful not to pass him too early. Get a penalty. Oh no, plus four start finish. I thought I could do that. Oops. Alright, well that's going to hamper us big time. Thought you had to wait until the green flag went out. Alright. You live and you learn. I said we've got to be careful not to pass him too early. 
thought when the green flag went out, we were fine. Oh, anyway. It is what it is. Oh, cold tyres. Oh, this is going to screw us big time. Idiot. Uh, I'm not going to race you because I've got a pit. Uh, what a rookie error that was. Well, that has not gone well, lads. I have really screwed that up. All right, well, I've decided to... All right, well, we're back out on track. Um, I was able to actually do the pit stop at the same time, so hopefully it just means we've just had a really long pit stop. And... Uh, yeah, but as you can see, I've come right out in the midst of the traffic and I'm a lap down, so this is uh, it's not going to be good. Just got to try and pass them as quickly as we can. We've got brand new tyres. Problem is I'm going to get blue flags and everything as well. Soon will be penalised. Oh, cold tyres. Alright, so, hopefully, 
We can make some time back up on the stint. Oh, someone's had a big one there. And uh, when all the sort of pit cycle rounds out, because these guys definitely have to pit the AI, they're not going to make it to the end on fuel, even though there's only 12 minutes to go. Get some of that time back. It'll be interesting to see where we sort of peter out. We did have a 10 second stop and hold, obviously, so that's going to hamper us. Well, I mean, I hope the AI have to pit. If not, we're going to be <laughs> a lap down and having a terrible finish. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, here comes the traffic again. Oh, it's not going to end well. Jesus. Oh, I said it was going to be manic. This track is absolutely manic. There's one of the DPIs pitting. That was the leader, so I'm going to make this a good lap. Let's go. so many cars. <laughs> this is going to be intense. Just really hoping to get a couple more on the straight. No, don't go too wide. Thankfully, I don't think there's that much of a marble build-up yet, so we can actually go around the outside here. Some of these corners. minutes to go. Oh, so, okay, so there's one of the DPS. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Just send it. Oh, my God, eh? Dude, that was awesome, bud. Oh, please don't chop me off. Please don't chop me off. race is absolutely manic. I don't know how they guys, how these guys drive this track on real life. It must be an absolute mission to get your body to the end of one of these races, especially on one of these. It's so much G-force. Oh, no, I screwed that up. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's not gone well. <laughs> wow. Okay, it's not every... Day you see a uh, <laughs> TPI completely horizontal. Alright, well, we're up into 10th. Alright, is that. Yeah, I think that's a DPI head. That's one of the Mazdas. Alright, let's go. Left. Oh, 
Oh, someone's at a moment. We got another yellow. All right. Well, I think that's going to be it, lads. Because uh, yeah, there's not much time remaining. All righty. Well, unfortunately, this race has finished under caution. One more lap, we would have got back racing, but we've actually finished fourth uh, in our class. However, we finished ninth overall because none of the GT LMs had to pit in the end. So I think. Uh, Risi, Competizione, Ferrari ended up winning the whole thing. But there you go. That's our factor two for you. But, uh, yeah, not the most entertaining of races. Unfortunately, we had a sort of 50-50 race with 50% being at under caution and 50% uh, actually being a lap down, I think. But managed to get back on the lead lap when the rest had to pit. And, yeah, managed to snag a fourth place finish. Well, thanks, guys, for tuning in. Hope you, in uh, hope you have enjoyed, well, what we have had in this race. Hope you have enjoyed this video, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.